Mother fuck! What happened here? Excuse me, sir. Sir? You two gentlemen smell like shit. I'm gonna do my very best not to base our relationship on this first impression, but first impressions count for a lot. So if I meet a couple of men who not only neglect the common decency to introduce themselves, but simply walk up to me smelling as shit, well, it's gonna take an effort for me to get to know them. I'm sorry, sir. We just came from the swamp. I'm Agent G, AMS. You're Warden Darling, right? That's entirely accurate, Detective Washington. You see, I'm not the only individual whose reputation precedes them. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to piss. My dick's on fire. I've been on the road for at least three quarters of an hour with a bladder full of steaming hot piss, slashing left and right with every turn of the road in a way that a bladder full of steaming piss tends to. Do excuse me. Uh, do you have any idea what happened here, sir? Ah, oh, shit. There you go, distracting me. Now I got it all down my left leg. I'm gonna look like I pissed myself. Imagine if I have to meet anybody besides yourselves today. They'd be inclined to think I was the sort of man who pisses himself. Now that'd be a poor first impression, indeed. We ain't got time for this shit. With all due respect, what the fuck's happened here? Is it the mutants? Mutants, you say? Can't say I have any idea what you're talking about, detective. I got a call in the middle of the night. I got told there was trouble at my prison. I came down, and here I am. That's the math of the situation right there. We're looking for someone, for a couple of people. A man and a woman. Riding a motorcycle? How the fuck do you know that? Well... There's a motorcycle dumped right over there. Looks like you gentlemen have your own affairs to deal with. I'll be heading inside to see what's what. If I see your friends, I'll be sure to let- They're not our fucking friends. A at least... Look, if you see them, don't let them go. I'll be sure to do that, detective. We appreciate any assistance you can offer us, sir. Call me Clement. You coming, motherfucker? <sniffs> nice boys. Maybe we should wait for backup. Or maybe you should grow some balls. <laughs> off more than he could chew.
They ain't paid me enough to deal with this. for genocide, motherfucker! Never thought I'd be happy to see a fucking cop. Most cops don't have this um, charming personality. Don't make me whoop your ass again, G-Man! Tell me what the G stands for yet. Yeah. What the? Viola. And Papa fucking Caesar? We've got to find a way down there. No shit.
Did you see... A freak-ass pimp with a hot bitch at gunpoint? Sure, they came through here just now. Some weird shit going down tonight, man. <laughs> Now let's move! need to chill the fuck out. Away, take a seat. Enjoy the show. Sir, what's going on here? You're behind. That's right. I'm behind the whole thing. Me, I'm responsible for. Don't interrupt me, detective. I have quite a lot to get through. You murdering psycho. You're responsible for all of this? For all those dead freaks? Well. I didn't kill your dad, Washington. Perhaps my esteemed colleague here has something to comment on that one. Clement! Clement! 
What the fuck are you doing? This wasn't part of our deal. I got the compound refined for you. I... Shut the fuck up. In fact, shut up permanently. No! Oh, shit! You were to do that, right? To get revenge? Hmm, maybe he's good for sloppy seconds. Ouch! Fuck! No, I think he's a goner. You sick bastard! Look, what do you want with Varla? She's not part of this. Let her go. You're actually quite wrong, whoever the fuck you are. I'm Agent G. G? What the fuck does that stand for? I'm afraid that's... Don't care, right? I have someone to introduce you to. Very exciting. Will you two please sit down, okay? And be polite. She's a real stickler for manners. Mother? Meet Isaac Washington. He's a homicide detective. Very good at his job. And this is his friend agent. I'm sorry. I didn't entirely catch your name. Clement! Where's my medicine, Clement? You don't need your medicine, Mother. Remember what I told? Where's my fucking medicine, you fatless peasant? Let me give you some context here, boys. I love my mother. I bet you boys love your mothers too and would do anything to keep them happy and healthy. Well, my mother is dying. Clement! Don't ignore me! And dying really quite rapidly. And unfortunately, there's only one way to fix that. See, the compound that's been turning my inmates and half this county into mindless mutants can be used to sustain life, in a manner of speaking. She's got small tits! Don't use the one with small tits, Clement! I forbid it! Calm down. Mother, you're insane. I'm just a very loving son. Uh, I'm, I'm going to fucking puke. Oops. Time for your treatment, Mother. Wait! I'd rather not. I can't believe Caesar is finally fucking dead. Hey! Snap out of it. We've got to find Varla. You who? Hello, boys. One last thing. If you'd be so kind as to look towards the stage, please. Between them, 21 counts of armed murder, 17 counts of aggravated assault, 12 counts of sexual assault, three bombings, and one instance of eating a little boy's puppy. We fried him in old Sparky about six months ago, and since then I've been tinkering with them on my weekends off. See, I'm
Silkis. Charging. Presentation Jailhouse Judgment will resume after these messages. 